You may have what it takes to be successful, but if you lose yourself in someone else's priorities or societal expectations, you will be judged not by your potential, but rather by your history, said once Lois P. Frankel. What factors lead people to criticize society rather than accepting it? Shakespeare's sister Judith, Helen Keller, and Mohandas Gandhi are all examples of people who have criticized the society that they were living in rather than accepting it. They didn't agree with what was happening and they wanted to make a change. Shakespeare's sister Judith was a woman during the 16th century, which means she was expected to stay home and fulfill all the household duties. Virginia Woolf tells us a story that she had no education, unlike her brother William, and she was required to stay home and make food, do the laundry, take care of all the kids while the men went to work. She was also expected to start a family of her own one day, but Judith didn't agree with this expectation of her. She didn't want to be a typical woman during the time. She wanted to go to school, learn how to read books, and receive grammar and logic just like William. Judith was smart, but she wasn't allowed to show it like her brother was. She also wanted to be an actress in London. In the 1500s, it was frowned upon for women to do anything outside of the home. Judith decided to speak up and for a change when she faced parental oppression and harassment by society. She felt like she was unequal to the rest of society, especially her brother. It was hard for her to have a talented brother and to accept the fact that he was allowed to go do her dreams, but she was required to stay home. Judith wasn't really successful in her change because she never got to push for the change she was looking for. Judith did go to London and attempted to be an actress, but she was laughed at and called names for wanting to be a woman in the time of being an actor. When Judith ran away from home, she ended up getting pregnant with her husband that she wasn't happy with and killed herself due to being unhappy. Another person that is very well known for speaking out against society was Helen Keller. Helen Keller is remembered for being a disability rights activist, a political activist, and a lecturer, as well as a civil rights activist. Found on the National Women's History Museum, at just 19 months old, Helen Keller lost her vision and her hearing to illness. She advocated for the disabled and for women's suffrage. After being underrated for having physical disabilities, she was motivated to go against the odds and make a change for women, especially women who had disabilities. Helen played a big role in the women's suffrage, the labor union movement, and pacifism, and was a civil rights activist who never quit fighting for what she believed in. Pacifism is the belief that any violence, including war, is unjustifiable and all things should be settled within peace. Throughout her dedication and advocacy for women and the blind, Helen co-founded the American Civil Rights Liberty Union. The AC ACLU, or American Civil Liberties Union, works in courts and legislatures and communities to preserve and defend the individual rights and guarantee to all people in this country by the Constitution and laws of the United States. The third person I chose to talk about that criticized society is Mohandas Gandhi. According to the World Economic Forum, Gandhi was a social activist who focused on civil disobedience. He led campaigns throughout the world looking to ease poverty, expand women's rights, and build religious and ethnic history. Aside from these goals, Gandhi had the main goal of achieving Indian independence. His plans to fight for equality were solidified when he was riding first class on a train, but a white man filed a complaint that a colored man was riding first class and he felt that that wasn't okay. So Gandhi was ejected from the train. Another thing that set Gandhi to fighting for independence was when the British Indian Army was ordered to open fire on a crowd, killing 400 people and injured a thousand. Gandhi took action after all. His actions included several boycotts, Gandhi ordered several servants to stop working for the British, students dropped out of school, soldiers abandoned their posts, and citizens were asked to hold their taxes and refrain from buying British goods. He was arrested many times and put in jail for leading the boycotts, but never violently. He was always a peaceful protester. 
Finally, in August of 1947, India gained independence and Gandhi was successful. He was killed in a riot and shot multiple times. Although it may be easier to go on a, in a society, even though you may disagree with it, these people took the, cha the challenge to make a change. Judith's dreams of wanting to be an actress led her to try to change the expectations of a woman during the 1500s. Helen Keller was underrated for being deaf and blind, so she became a social activist for women's rights, as well as disabled, for the disabled. Mohandas Gandhi fought for Indian independence to try to change society and make it equal for everybody. What would our world look like if people like this never spoke out against society and accepted it the way it was?